Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this video, we will see how we can import animations created in other software into Maverick through different formats. We are going to use this fantastic model that you can find on Sketchfab and download its version for Blender. As you can see, it has a very dynamic and interesting animation that will serve us as an example. As always, thanks to the author for this work. Here we have the file opened in Blender, and we can see how the model is animated. We're going to export in different formats to see the workflow with each of them. The first option we're going to use, and the most recommended one, is to export to USD format since it's becoming an industry standard. You just have to choose this format to export and check the animation box, leaving the other parameters as default. The export has been very fast, and now we go to Maverick to import. Using the import button, we select the file, and we'll need to briefly configure some options. First, we check that the model's flip is correct, and then we set the scale so it's appropriate by verifying the resulting size of the model. We click Next and leave the animation options by default. We click Next again, and now we have to choose the ambience into which we want to import the model. Later on, you'll be able to change that ambience easily. We wait for the model to load and check that everything is correct. In the animation panel, you will see the model's keyframes. When scrubbing in this case, it will seem like the object has no animation, but that's due to the scrubbing mode. In this case, we'll have to choose full scrubbing mode. Now we can see the movement and confirm everything is working properly. We go back to Blender, because now we're going to use another widely used format, which is GLB or GLTF. We select this file type when exporting, and in this case, we need to make sure animation is included. Now the options are to export GLB with embedded textures or GLTF, format with the geometry file and textures in a separate folder. In this case, we choose the GLB format. It will take considerably longer to export because the object will take up much more space. Once finished, we go back to Maverick to import this file. We use the import button and select the GLB format. We can see it takes up a lot of space since it includes all the textures. As always, we check that the flip is correct and the scale is accurate. We continue and choose an ambience for the import. Now we have it on screen, and in this case we see many more objects with keyframes. This depends on how the export has separated the scene. Remember that when scrubbing in this case, you'll need to use full mode. We go back once again to Blender to look at the last format we're going to use. In this case, we export in FBX format. From Blender, you need to go to the animation options and uncheck the first three options. Now we export and go back to Maverick. We import the file and as always check the flip and the scale. In this case, we need to select centimeters because the internal scale of the FBX file is different. We choose the ambience for import and proceed. Now we have our model with the keyframes imported, and we can check in full scrubbing mode that everything is correct. We've now seen three widely used formats for exporting and importing between different software. Now let's import a Sketchfab file directly in USD format. Here we have this animated model, thanks to the author, and we're going to download it in USD format. We're going to import it into Maverick.
As always, we check the flip and the scale. We choose an ambience to import the model into and proceed. We now have the model in Maverick and we can see its keyframes and animation without needing to be in full scrubbing mode. Let's take a look at a couple of aspects of this model. Since we have propellers, we're going to configure object motion blur so that it has more quality and becomes completely circular. In the motion blur options, we increase the object's form settings and see how it improves. Finally, let's see how we can combine the imported file with keyframes and motion controllers. We create a motion controller and drop it onto our assembly. Now in the animation panel, we go to the top where we'll find the motion controller. We extend it so its duration is similar to the model's animation. Let's set up a movement. We go to a final frame and use the translation options. We'll need to switch the coordinates to world mode to better control the movement axis. We set up a movement to the left and upward. Now we're going to hide the floor that came with our model so the effect is visible only on the drone robot. If we scrub to check the animation, we can see how the model's own animation and the new movement we added are combined. Well, with this tutorial, we've seen how you can import animations created in other software into Maverick. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next videos.